G'day, we've got Blokes News for Monday the 11th of December. Now, this is a really rushed Blokes News because I'm in a hurry. I've uh, woken up rather late this morning. So, going to kick off with just a couple of really quick stories. Now, Christmas parties, it's uh, apparently, if you're a light drinker, you've got more chance of drinking a sickie the next day than a heavy drinker. Well, of course you will, because heavy drinkers know what it's like to have a hangover and they can deal with it, and they deal with it quite regularly. Um, that much I know. What I don't know is how people that drink lightly, how well they deal with hangovers. Um, so, yeah, they're, the, they're the ones that are causing all the sickies and all that sort of stuff. Uh, pack of wusses, really. They should learn to drink more, I think. Um, uh, more research that's out. Apparently, we receive 75 telemarketing calls per year each. Well, I'd like to know who they did the research on, because I reckon I get the many in a month, let alone a year. And um, uh, I've got a really funny answering message on my home phone. It's actually just laughter, just laughing, that's all. And I think they keep dialing back to listen to the laughing. I don't know, but yeah, they're very annoying. Very annoying. Um, now, you wouldn't want to be a Lebanese student in New South Wales, or in Sydney in particular, because if you are, you get branded a terrorist by your teacher, according to this news article. And um, <clears throat> if teachers are teaching us how to behave, and teachers are teaching us by setting a good example, and teachers are teaching us stuff they need to teach, why are they doing it in such a way that puts down, or oh, just brands a Lebanese person a terrorist? I don't know, that just does not make sense at all. That is wrong on so many levels, basically. I can't be really saying more than that, can I? Now, um, here in Melbourne, we've, we've had a couple of days of 40 degree heat um, in a row, so it's been rather hot and bothered. And I have to say, it's the closest we've ever been to Los Angeles. The amount of smoke in the air and the pollution. I was out at the beach the other day, and f uh, from the beach, I could just barely see um, the cruise ships that were docked at um, Port Melbourne. Now, normally, um, you'd be able to see that, or well, probably from about 10 kilometres away at least. Um, actually, probably just about all around the bay, if your eyesight was pretty good. Um, and I was, ooh, t oh, about two kilometres away, I think, if that. And, uh, yeah, could barely see it. The smog was that bad. And apparently the airport was even closed down. So, um, yeah, as I said, closest I've ever been to Los Angeles without actually being there. And uh, the V8 supercars on the weekend, um, you know, it was between Ford and Holden, as always, but uh, Craig Lowndes, who drives for Ford, and uh, one of the Kelly brothers, I can't remember which one, which drives for Holden, they went into the final race on equal points. So it was a matter of who came ahead of the other one as to um, uh, who would win, basically. Well, it turns out that, um, oh, which Kelly brother is it? Um, Rick Kelly. Um, gave Craig Lambs a bit of a nudge in uh, early on in the race and uh, wiped him out of the race, causing an accident and so on. And he got a drive-through penalty. <coughs> but he was able to finish the race, so he actually won the year-round championship. Um, now, it's, it's going to go to a bit of a um, uh, court case tribunal type of thing because it was very unsportsmanlike. So, um, Triple uh, Eight Racing, which is the Ford team, are going to see what they can do to, um, yeah, get, I don't know, I don't know what they do in that sort of circumstance. Anyway, it's terrible when you've got to sort a of championship out of the court, rather than sort it out, you know, it, it shouldn't be, it shouldn't be done in the court at all, come to think of it, actually I'm thinking about this now, um, it shouldn't be a race, uh, sorry, it, sh it shouldn't be a court thing, you know, he did this, he did that, da 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 um, just come up with a unit, like they do in the golf, you know, uh, two laps or whatever the first one past the finishing line or something like that. Um, yeah, what do they do in the golf? They have a playoff or whatever. They should have a playoff in the cars too. And in stupid news, um, a woman up in Darwin uh, opened a freezer and found a frog in it. And it was frozen, whatever. She thawed the frog out and it came back to life. And that sort of got scientists all keen and excited and all that sort of stuff. Well, um, it didn't live very long. The frog is now dead. I'm Dave. This is Bloke News.